New developments overnight from the Big Island, where the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says there was an explosive eruption at Kilauea Summit overnight. The ash plume, it is heading southwest, and it may reduce visibility, and it could create slippery driving conditions. It comes after two lava flows started entering the water. This is near McKenzie State Park. This happening over the weekend. Howard Dashevsky joins us now live from Behold with the very latest. And Howard, how's it looking this morning? Well, Christine, Jai, uh, we started to get a few showers not too long ago, but an otherwise beautiful morning here in Pahoa. But I can tell you about, oh, a mile and a half, two miles down to my right, the bombs keep going off. It sounds like dynamite and probably maybe one or two every single minute. That is the continuing flow that is heading down in that area. Now, there's some dramatic images that we've all been watching over the past couple of days, and now we know that there are two fast-moving flows that continue to flow into the ocean. You mentioned that explosion up at uh, Halima'uma'u. Well, that's just a particulate matter. That's ash in the air that can be an irritant, but it's not toxic. The problem down below, not only the fast-moving lava, the SO2 gases that come off of that, but when that lava hits the ocean, it creates what's called lays. It's a lava haze, and in that is hydrochloric chloric acid mixed with shards of glass-like materials that can be very dangerous if you not only breathe it or it could actually spit out pieces of glass shards that can become very dangerous. Now we went down there yesterday to that area with the Hawaii National Guard. We we're with Lieutenant Colonel Charles Anthony who talked about all the various warnings and also told us keep on your toes because things continue to change down there by the minute and if they were going to change when we were down there well, he said, be ready to move on a moment's notice. So, again, I'm just going to continuously monitor SO2 levels, but this thing does not measure hydrogen chloride. So, if I just see something that just doesn't look right, key on me, and we'll start moving back, okay? All right. So because of the two uh, very apparent dangers down there, some which you could see and smell and feel. And then there are other dangers down there that you really can't smell or see until they're upon you. Uh, it's really no man's land down there. And to get to that area where we were, we had to go through no less than four police and uh, National Guard checkpoints. So nobody should be down there. If you are a resident and you want to get to your home, you're going to be able to get down there. I mean, they will let you into your home, but you got to be extremely careful. You need to have a gas mask. And again, there's very uh, apparent dangers down there. And officials warn, if you have no reason to be there, certainly don't sneak in. It's not a place that's safe to be. Chris Jai, for now, we send it back to you.